everyone, Nikki here, Twilight Huntress, another limited quantity um, video for you. I have a complete clothing haul. I've got shoes, I've got adult clothes, I've got children's clothes. Obviously, I will not be trying on the children's clothes unless they're really big and they look like I can fit them. <laughs> but the children's clothes I'm going to bring down to my granddaughter tonight and she'll try them on and give you a little fashion show. So my lighting today is not perfect. We are late afternoon. There is a huge thunderstorm rolling in. It is overcast and um, I don't think it's the worst for lighting today, but it's definitely not the best. So anyway, please do bear with me. I will have that ring light one day. One day it'll be mine. I wish it would come as fast, like in my mind, if I paid for something legit that's not limited quantity. I think that I should be getting it like within a month, within a month. <laughs> I don't know why my brain goes that way, but I also think that something like a ring light would probably be along the same lines as the solar lights. All the solar light items I've gotten have come from Ontario, like a province over from me in Canada, by the way. Um, and that tablet came from Ontario, so maybe all electronics and all solar lights do. So I was hoping the ring light would be the same thing. Apparently it's not because it's not here yet and it should have long been here if I were to go by that theory. So I have four pieces of clothing for me. I have three pieces of clothing for my granddaughter and I have four pairs of shoes for me. So let's get into the haul. Okay so the first pair of shoes is the one that I have been just itching to see. Like I want to see them. I want to see the quality. They are beautiful on the page like in the picture but you know until you see them in real life you don't know what they're going to be, how they're going to fit, what they just what they are in general. So this I got in black and size Eight. But for boots, I, I always order a size up, and it's not the whole, oh, I need to fit like three pairs of socks in my boots. No, it's just the way they fit. I have a wider foot, and it just works out better for me than trying to order a size seven and trying to cram my foot in there, especially when the boots are like over the calf or, you know, just a higher boot. So, yeah, these would have been $49, and they are, um, I've been just itching to open this. So this clothing haul would have been done today regardless. And apparently the tape doesn't want to let go nicely. So I'm trying to be nice and um, turned on a lamp. I'm not too fond of the lamp. I don't think it gives a good light, but it gives some light so you can actually see the items I'm going to show you. I really wish those storm clouds would just part ways and leave my world so I could have some beautiful sunlight instead of false light. Anyway, I do not want to make this each item take too long. So these boots, 100% wish win, they are beautifully made. Okay, not 100% wish win for me, 100% wish win overall as long as you size up because I am having doubts whether they are going to fit me. They may be more of a a uh, true size 7 than a size 8. I said I size up, I sized up, but these look small. So if they don't fit me, my granddaughter can wear them, but I'll quickly show you. They have got fur on the top, this beautiful bead detailing and embroidery. Um, you still can't see very well. Anyway, they are kind of like a muckluck style. They are cute. The stitching is great. They're very um, insulated. There's a lot of fur inside. So for a Canadian winter, at least, I will not speak for the rest of the world in whatever types of winters you have, but you know, the one pair of boots I had, they were not, definitely not rated for any kind of Canadian cold winter. They were more of a fall boot. This one can get away with being a winter boot. Maybe not minus 30, minus 40, but it'll, it'll do for sure. And it's cute. It's cute. It's a fashion statement super cute that's right super cute boots so I've been waiting for a pair of runners I've been waiting for a few pairs of runners I have coming but I finally got at least one of them so these I got in a size 
38, their 38, um, they had written beside it seven and a half, size seven and a half. I got them in purple. They would have been $47. Um, this was still part of my April uh, whims. And it's a platform style. So here we go. And they are kind of like shrink wrapped. I haven't seen that in any of my items yet where things are shrink wrapped. But I'll have to cut into the packaging. It's not in a bag. And it's not as loud as those bags. Maybe everybody should shrink wrap their stuff. That would be great. All right, so seven and a half. I have a wide foot, so every shoe I look at, I'm all like, oh no, it's gonna be so squishy. It sucks, but the joys of having a wide foot. So it's got decent um, cushion in it, but now this is gonna be hard for you to see. Oh, I'm not gonna sit and whine about the daylight again, but it's a very cute shoe. Again, it's pretty well made. It was a little indented here, probably from shipping because it was just in a mailer with the shrink wrap packaging, but um, it's got a green inside. I don't know, it's a really cute shoe. It's like a shaker style, kind of, right? It's It's got the, the platform top. I'll see how they fit and how, they, how you can walk in them, but the insole or whatever, you know, the, whatever you call this, is kind of bubbled up here. And I mean, it'll go down when you put it on, but is it gonna slide out every time you pull a shoe off? That I don't know. That could happen. Again, I'm not a fan of the bottom though. It is not really rubbery. It's kind of a harder, it is, okay, it's soft, but it's a harder plastic, like different than normal um, shoes you buy, even from Walmart. It just feels like if you were to hit something wet that you could slip easy. That's just my take on it. I'm trying not to take too much time on each item again. So apparently I pulled the bad one out first. This one's perfect. Uh, no, it, this one's up a little bit too. So did they put the wrong size of? No, it goes to the tip and it's not too much to the tip, like not too much um, of an insole. But again, good shoe, made well, cute colors. I love purple and green together. I always think that looks really uh, cute, sharp, whatever. We'll find out in the shoe haul exactly where I should go from here. If I should keep ordering up just for safety, like there is quite a few shoes that I did order up that I have coming from limited quantity. Um, and I figure if they don't fit me, definitely it'll fit my mom or my daughter. So I'm not too worried about having a bunch of shoes that don't fit me, but yes, cute shoes. I'm going to try them on later too. And they may be my everyday shoes. My current work shoes right now have holes in them. So I was waiting for some of my wish shoes. I mean, I have another pair of Reeboks, but those Reeboks were in a seven and not seven and a half. See, even name brand shoes have issues. I ordered those ones online from um, Sport Check and they didn't fit right and I should have returned them right away. But that's not the ones that have the holes in them. The ones that have the holes in them, again, are Reeboks, I believe. But they're just worn out, so. I need a new pair of shoes for work, at the least. Okay, so these are cute. No doubt about it. Um, I'm not sure how they would look with shorts. They would look good with capris. They would look good with jeans. Same, actually both of the next two pairs. I'm gonna say the same for both. So I got these in a purple size eight. They were ordered April 25th. And they would have been $40. The $40 price tag, I'm not quite believing. I'm not sure if I mentioned the runners would have been $47. Those two, that's like a pretty high price tag for the quality of shoe it is. I wouldn't pay that for those shoes but what was it 49 for the boots that I would pay for those boots but anyway these are so so cute are you ready for this and now I know everybody has seen these if you have not tried for them I did get a pair of cute little runner style 
purple sandals. So they did come with a form in there. That's nice. That's a nice extra step to take to keep the form of the shoe. Um, they look like a runner in every way except the fact that they're open toed and you know open backed and open side. But they've got the tongue. They've got a tongue in there. They are so stinking cute though. They're decently soft. Um, again, it's that weird plasticky stuff. But yeah, I really like those. It looks like they're made well. Oh, the wind is whipping up out there. That storm's going to hit any moment. Any moment. And here is the sec. Oh, my. Let's see. Can you hear that? It's a coming, people. Now watch after the storm passes. Like I said before, it will get all sunny. But it's getting like wickedly windy oh man cute purple runner style shaker style sandals i love them and on to our last pair of shoes i just saw lightning flash by the window should i freak out i'm not freaking out i'm not freaking out no i am not freaking out <laughs> on to our last pair of shoes slash sandals these two, you probably have seen them. I'm, you know, it's been so long since I've been on that side, I don't remember. So they're wrapped pretty well. I don't know why I always feel like I need to give an update on how it was shipped, but I'm sure you would appreciate knowing that your items are coming in good shape. These cute little sandals. They've got this little form on here, I guess, to keep this from being squished down and bent. So that is um, braided. Braided leather, I guess. The detailing, the faux stones, those look really cool. Um, that's the side view. The, the sole is quite cushiony, probably a comfortable, comfortable walk. It's again a narrow shoe, probably more for a B-width. I'm a s I'm I'm a I'm a big footed person. The bottom of this one is more rubbery. I like that. And then it's got like this. Um, it's not cork actually I'm not sure what this material is but it is a nice cute summer shoe very cute I'm really liking that let's take a look at shoe number two here we go looks all good detailing all good Got, I don't know if you saw that when I showed you the faux stones, but it does have um, really cute tiny bead work around the faux stones in a colorful um, pattern. It's got an elastic band, so you're not having to do up a shoe or whatever on the side with a buckle. So yeah, there's that elastic band. And they look like a comfortable shoe. I can't wait to try those on These also. are white. I ordered them in medium. They would have been $39. I paid two. And they are those white kind of, um, I don't even know what this material is. In, in the picture, they look like leather to me, but they're not leather, but they're so they're so soft. So it's these white faux leather. I don't know what this is. And it's throughout. I'm gonna guess on a hot day, these would be an absolute no-go. They probably stick to you like glue, but I don't know. They're cute and again, like, I am so far seriously impressed with the quality of clothing I have been getting from Wish. Like, I have absolutely no complaints about, well, I can't say absolutely no complaints, but it's few and far in between where I'm picking up something and saying, this is crap. Like, this can go straight from my hands to that trash bin over there in the kitchen. So, this, again, is well made. The stitching is immaculate. Like, it is 
so pretty. It's got these little zipper pockets, whether they're true pockets or not, that I don't know. Nope, that's a fake. This one. That's a fake. Well, I don't need them because I have a pocket up here. So it has real pockets, and then it's got these little detailing of fake zipper pockets, but you know, like, this one's just a single. Maybe this one's a real one. No, I don't even know why they open. They should just be fake zipper pockets that don't unzip because there's no point to them zipping. Um, it's got a really tiny button. A really tiny button and a really tiny button hole. But... Look at that. They are so cute. I have not a hot clue where, when, or how. No, I know how I'd wear them. I don't have a hot clue as to where I would wear these, but I'm sure I'd figure something out. I really like them. Okay, so I ordered it in green. It would have been $25. I don't know if I would pay $25 for any t-shirt, but this one was listed on Wish as $25. It is cute though, so I don't know. I am a very cheap person, frugal person, so I doubt I would have paid that for it. It says I ordered it in green, but it looks pretty darn blue to me. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It looks like seriously blue. Like, seriously blue. How is that green? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Blue is cute too. I like blue. So it is a Scully t-shirt and you may have seen these also. Um, this actually looks like it just might fit me. It's got the, the butterflies on the one sleeve. It is a, it's a drop sleeve. You can see this one it's a shoulder drop or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. The, the print on here is nice. I'm, it doesn't feel like that sticky kind of print where you're worried it's gonna get stuck together in the dryer or something and be shot. It feels like a normal t-shirt print that you'd go buy at any store like Warehouse One or whatever, Walmart even. Here, it looks a little I may have to eat my words on that, but it looks a little stuck together here. I don't know if you can see that. But, oh. So it was... It was stuck together, but me pulling it apart is not wrecking the picture, so that's good. I guess maybe they folded it too soon after doing the, the press, because it's definitely not a screen print. It's just a pressed on um, application, but okay. So that's okay. It came apart. All right, it was, it was folded and stuck together, so all that stuck together talk. Now I actually had something stuck together. But I am pretty sure this will fit me, and if it does, I will be in heaven because I love it. I loved it when I saw it. It said small, and I was like, I don't care. I am in it for the long haul, so hey. This, this I just got in the mail today, and I knew exactly what it was as soon as I saw this. Can you guess what that is? So they say it would have been $39. I ordered it in a medium multicolor and I am almost guaranteeing this will not fit me. Medium women's. Yes, it is the tie dye and I can already see through the plastic that it is that quartered material that we all so love to hate. And, but I like the colors so what are the chances this will be big enough to fit me, even if it is that horrible material? Okay, so I have not unfolded it yet. Medium women's, remember people, medium women's. It is cute though, what does it say on there? Ling. Ling. 
Here we go, the grand reveal. It's very thin, I can feel that. Holy smokes, it might actually fit me. Ah. It's gonna fit me. And it looks like the hood is a decent size. Um, besides it being that this is definitely not made for warmth. It's got a very thin, um, whatever you wanna call it inside. The hood actually looks like way big. Now that I'm looking at it, let's see when it's folded back. I really should just get onto the trying on part of this. But this will definitely fit me, but you can tell the hood looks like it hangs a bit too low, like it's almost hanging down to the bottom of the shirt. I gotta watch what I say with the GoPro. I think that's why it keeps stopping on me and me having to like not know where I was at anyway. Ending the clips because I don't want you to have to deal with that noise. I mean, you have dealt with it a bit, but I'm trying to be conscious of the fact that this packaging is super loud and annoying. And I know I'm not a big fan of hearing it on videos, but it is what it is. And can't please everyone, right? But I, for one, can try to be a little bit more conscious of it because I'm a person who doesn't like it. I said ordered in medium is actually labeled with a medium tag. I actually don't see that too often on any of the clothing I buy. So this is now will it look like that on me? Who knows? Who knows? Let's see if it's as cute as I think it is. Let's see if I can figure out what is the top and what is the bottom. Let's go with that first. Oh my. It might be because the hood is kind of wonky. Like it's, there we go. I found it, I did it. Are you proud of me? I'm pretty proud of me. So it's got, looks like the Wonson symbol on here. It is kind of, it is my style of clothing. I'm gonna tell you that without saying too much more, but I am not a um, very religious person, but I am a spiritual person. And I've been told I'm eclectic, eclectic, eclectic. Hey, that is good that I was able to say that. Then I'm not gonna cry too much about messing up on other normal words, but. It says it's a mini dress, so that I believe. We'll just see how it fits and how mini it is. I'm short, so it might not be too bad. This is definitely a screen print. That's not an iron-on. As you can see, the little M symbol in there. And yeah, I like it and I'm gonna try it. And let's get on to the kids stuff so I can start trying all this on. Anyway, let's get back to this. So this is a little girl's. Um, there you go. It had the tag in there, but not attached to the item. So, it is. Uh, ages 10 to 11 years, the bag inside had 15 on it. And this is what I was explaining when my GoPro battery did that you'll often see in children's clothing that it'll, they'll just have those number ranges. So, without looking into I chose 15 because I was thinking it'd be like you know how they say um uh, size 10 to 12 is like a medium I guess and 14 is like a large and 16 is like a extra large or something like that I'm not sure exactly how that all works anymore my youngest son is way past those sizings so these are those cute little tights with the little skirt attached, a little fuller skirt or whatever you want to call it. Do you know what? This feels really well made. It is definitely a cotton material. See, even the tag inside says 15. But when I went to go look up the ad again, it said, whatever I said, 10 to 12 years old or something. But these feel a little heavyweight, so they probably be like warm. But they are a legit um, decent material and I'm sure she'll love those because she loves to dress up. 
Now, this was the second item that I got in the mail for her. And it wasn't long behind those tights. Let's see. Girl's dress. I did not write down the price. Oh, life of me, I cannot remember what the price was, but I'm sorry. I will let you know. But it is sold out anyway, so it kind of doesn't matter. But this is the first. This is the monumental moment. The first limited quantity item I want. Off so, I'm going to show you in the plastic that you probably can tell just by seeing that what it is. The rest came with this little belt bow. It's got, I guess, a hook system. It's got this hook on the one end. And then three little holes. And it's elastic. So we'll put that down and let's show you the dress. Oh, she's going to be excited for this, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. She's nine years old now, so she may be like slowly transitioning into that um, teen brain. I'm not sure. So here it is. And I am not sure if it will fit her. But we'll try it and we'll see. I mean, according to that picture. Okay, so this one was ordered April 25th in light green, ages 9 to 10 years old, and it would have been $29. And it is a long dress, and it is a long sleeve dress, and maybe it will fit Grandma, maybe we don't have to give it to her. I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I am so serious. If this dress were to fit me, I may keep it. I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. It is cute though. It wouldn't fit me. I know it wouldn't fit me, but um, look at that. That is going to be so cute on her and I can't get it into the frame because it's so long. It's a long dress with half sleeves. They're not full sleeves. They're half sleeves. I'm not sure now. I mean, I'm going to post a picture here, of course, but um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be full sleeve. But if it is, then that would be a fail on this part of it because these definitely do not look like full sleeves. But it's a cute dress. Let's see how high I can... Do you know what? When I'm doing my clothes try on, I'll just hold this up against me and you can see how long it is because I'm not sure what else I can do with that to make it visible to you because it's so long. But it's cute, it's summery, it may be, you know, long sleeve, but it's great for certain days. I'm not sure how much she's into wearing dresses these days, but we'll see. We'll see what she likes and what she doesn't, and let's get on to the fashion show, because this is what I've been waiting for. Okay, so I decided to do the clothes try on portion of this video over again from last night. Um, this shirt, oh, FYI, I have my front door open, I have my living room window open. As you can hear, vehicles going by, please forgive me for the noise, but I need the light, or else this would not be happening right now. I wouldn't even bother trying to remake this. So anyway, let's get back to, to this. I love this. Right now I have it pulled up and bunched up a little bit to be more of a shirt style. I think that's a super cute way to wear it. The sleeves come all the way down even to, you know, a little bit further than normal. Like it's not right on the wrist and I actually prefer to have a little bit of a, a looser, longer sleeve. So this is it in t-shirt form or shirt form. I think it looks good. What do you think? Um, I will pull it down so you can see it in dress form and it does follow the finger rule like this so my fingertips do reach this edge of it but I am five foot three so if you're any taller it may not have the same effect and you may be only wearing this with tights or whatever you get here I decided well after playing with it not decided but it works this way too to bring it down over the shoulders and make it into Yet another style. I'm talking about my GoPro just randomly stopping. Anyway, you're gonna see those bumps, never mind all the lumps. This is not a very forgiving fabric, just like that green dress I tried on in my other limited quantity haul as well. The lamb symbol. 
I love the cloak. You didn't see it. I'm going to probably crouch down for this instead of arranging my GoPro to show you. But here it is with the hood on for the cloak. It's so cute. Crouch down to show you. But it's really cute. Like, so, so cute. I don't know. What do you all think about this? I like it. I think it's a wish win, but it's my own personal style that's making it that in my world right now. So, for me, wish win. For the rest of you, information only, this is what you're going to get, it is sheer, if you're all lumpy and bumpy, it's not going to be the most flattering, it's not the most flattering on me, but I really don't care. I will wear it, I will wear some shapewear or something to hold myself in and make it work, and yeah, on to the next shirt. Now this, I also absolutely love this, I'm so glad it fit me. Um, like I said, I ordered in small. I'm more of a medium. It fits a little bigger. It's actually like legit a little baggy. It's not even like skin tight. So um, gauge that as you will. You, without seeing me up close and personal, you do not know my size. But I am telling you, I wear women's medium for the most part. Sometimes smalls, but not often. Not often. Smalls are usually very tight and form fitting, but this t-shirt or whatever it is really fits nicely like I don't know what do you think like I think the whole style of this is so cute it's got the fuller um, tank top underneath it's got the drop shoulder sleeve it's so cute and I am so happy that I get to keep it I would have loved to have given it to my granddaughter she would have loved it too but um this one is for grandma and like I said I am like the queen of skull things like I don't know if you ever noticed up here I've got skulls somebody ooh, somebody gave me these a salt and pepper shaker a lot are from Halloween I got this lovey dubby couple that I bought from Michael so here is my third and final shirt to try on first I'm gonna say I love the color it's kind of pastel-y the multicolor I'm glad this is the one I chose and not the blue or whatever the other option was black I think um, I'm a bright and colorful type of person so this totally suits my personality I just noticed though while I was putting it on and I actually did a video I can pull these sleeves up like I don't know if you know but a lot of hoodies these days are made not with any kind of ribbing around here and this isn't either this is not sure what it is but it's stretchy so I can actually pull my sleeves up I love that um, it's got the Lang name on there it's beautiful colors it fits amazing I will show you the hood right now this I was worried about because when I was holding it up it did seem to be hang oh it fits perfect here we go and there you go the hood fits perfect it comes around nicely is where it's supposed to be let's see if I can do a crouch turn for you if anybody was watching me through that window right now, they'd probably be laughing their butts off because my window's low and they can see this weirdness. So the hoodie fits great. It is where it's supposed to be. And that's all i got to say about this. Another um, great limited quantity item. Like, I mean, minus the fact that it's made out of that wonky material, but it, it's comfortable. It's probably more of a spring hoodie or an early fall hoodie. It's not built for warmth, but it's built for comfort. When I look down at them, they look too tapered off for me. I'm not really happy about that. Um, they are not comfortable. It might be because of my wide feet. They feel like in here where I've tied them, it feels like there's something hard that is pressing into the top of my foot, which does not make sense to me at all. Maybe it's just the laces, but I didn't tighten up the laces any more than they are already, but um, they are not very comfortable to me. So I will, I don't know what I'll do with those. See if they fit my granddaughter, maybe she'll like them. So it doesn't seem to matter what lighting I have coming in like this. You can see my carpet is lit up and it's from daylight, but these boots are black. So they're just going to legit be hard to see. That is how they are. I should go that close. 
Um, I love the fur detailing. I love the beadwork. It all looks great. The little pom-pom tie up here. I guess you can tie it tighter if you want. The stitching, the rubber on the boot is really good quality. Yeah, size up. Don't worry about anything about these boots. I think they're like amazingly made. They're incredible little boots and I will definitely be wearing these this next winter. Okay, so what do you think of these? Like, I really love these ones. There's not too much in this clothing haul that I don't love besides that one pair of runners that really fit very poorly on me. But um, these are the cutest little mock runner sandals ever. Like, I think that these are a definite fashion statement. I don't know, I've never seen anything like this at Walmart. Um, I was scared of like rolling a <laughs> rolling a ankle here and there because it is you can feel the wedge right in the middle doesn't matter how thick it looks from the back oh, here doesn't matter how thick it looks from the back it's definitely got a rocker in it so you have to uh, maintain balance and try not to fall on your face but now I mean it's not impossible or hard it just takes a tiny bit of practice so yeah, I am in love with these. So now I need some like hardcore opinions on these. They are amazing little sandals. They are, they are soft soled. They are easy to walk in, very comfortable, but um, I'm a wide footed person. Okay, so you may have seen it from over there, but I just wanted to show you a little bit more up close. So. Anyway. As you can see, my foot does hang over the sides. And if I'm not conscious about it and I just like relax my foot, let's say I do this, it's gonna hang even more over the sides. If I think about it, then they don't look too bad, but they will still hang over the sides not very nicely. So as much as I love these little shoes, I don't know what to do if I keep them or if I give them to somebody they fit better or what so I don't know maybe you can let me know oops out of frame maybe you can let me know what you think about that I think that I would like to try to rock them but I also don't want to like wear them in and then end up having to get rid of them anyway so you thought I forgot didn't you absolutely not these pants they're not tights they're not jeggings they're not jeans these pants these pleathery amazing soft beautiful pants I just actually wanted to keep the camera down there so you could see the bunching up on the bottom <laughs> I have no words for um, how amazing these feel I'm gonna have words but um, I'm short so they bunch they bunch the bunch I am wearing my tights under here right now but because I didn't feel like taking my tights off. I just wanted to show you the pants. But um, yeah, they are meant for a bit of a taller person for sure. They're not the worst. I have definitely worn longer pants that didn't suit before. So I'll show you the top half now or top part. Okay, so just remember I am wearing my leggings under here. So I've got, you know, that quarter inch, eighth of an inch thickness of extra thickness. But these are super comfortable. I have worn them without tights under there, obviously, last night when I did my little fashion show. But here they are. They are cute. I don't know, what do you think about these? I like that the pockets come down the bum like this. I think that's very flattering on any woman. When pockets go too far to the side or too high up, things in every region don't look the best. But this kind of, um, it's just, a, it's just a, a, sh, a, I'm not gonna say sharp look. It's a nice look for a butt. We'll just say that, it's a nice look for a butt. So here is the top. Yes, I'm a hippie, curvaceous woman. So that's how it goes. Um, those zippers are a cute uh, addition feature, whatever. It fits nice. I don't know, these are really cute pants. If you're into this style of pants, definitely go for it. 
I am going to enjoy these also. I'm going to find somewhere I can wear them, you know. Oh, there's a little bunching up here, but like I said, I am losing weight. So I'm going to assume that's going to probably get worse because it's going to be excess and I probably could fit a small versus this medium. Okay, but for so now, I'm definitely losing my daylight now, but that's okay. We're ending this video. We're all done. Um, please let me know which of these pieces of clothing you like that you would actually buy. Like I am going to recommend almost everything except for that one pair of shaker shoes that I no longer even own. <laughs> I got rid of those right quick, but she loves them and they, it may have just been my foot. Who knows? Like it, they just were not comfortable and it like literally felt like there was two steel rods pushing up against the top of my foot and the bottom was hard. Even though when I was feeling them during the opening, they felt okay, but definitely felt different on my feet. Um, if these pants are not a good fit for me or look kind of wonky and funny, do let me know, please. I don't want to go out in the world. And also do let me know what you think about the sandals and my wide feet in them. If it's something that's not right in this world, I definitely want to know. If it's something I can get away with wearing, I definitely want to know because I do like them. They are, they're a really sharp, um, dress up shoe and I wouldn't mind having an actual dress up shoe in my footwear collection. I do have some, but you know, once you wear them X number of years, not even times, years, you need to start rotating and getting some new stuff in there. I'm not a huge clothes shopper, but these wish hauls are fun and I'm finding that there are things that I wouldn't normally buy that suit me and that I think I'll just have to rethink the whole not buying things. <laughs> anyway, do like, subscribe, comment below about anything and everything, and especially about those questions I asked, please let me know. I need this knowledge because what I see versus what you see in this video might be two different things. I look at things with rose-colored glasses on sometimes, so they really may not suit me, so I'd really appreciate knowing if they do or don't. But. Um, have a great evening, weekend, day, morning, night, wherever you're at in this world while you watch my video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.